So one of the first things we wanted to do when we got down to this area in Mexico is find a way to get to the underwater museum in Isla Mujeres, which is north of Cancun. And we hopped on a taxi, which then took us to a shuttle, which then took us to a ferry, which then took us to the island. And we've now arrived to get onto our ferry. This whole excursion we booked, there's some guy named Juan Carlos who we were just hoping was legitimate, and as it turns out so far, it has been. So hopefully the rest of the day is just as lucky. You don't normally see uh, a purple and blue Doritos, so uh, I'm sure this could be super healthy. How are they? I'm gonna throw up. Oh, oh, that's is hot. It spicy? <laughs> Then we met a guy in Isla Mujeres who took us to his dive shop, who then put us on a boat to go scuba diving in the underwater museum. See, easy as, easy as mud. It's time to go diving. We went to the island because they have one of the most unique scuba diving experiences in the world. It's a museum that's completely submerged in the water. The project was originally initiated by the head of the Mexican Environmental Initiative because the coral reefs around the island were becoming damaged. So he reached out to a British sculptor who then came up with the project. And when we got out to the underwater museum, they, uh, they put all your equipment on for you, which is really heavy, and you sit on the back of the boat, and then you just have to fall, fall off the back of the boat. Making sure you have positive buoyancy as much as possible. Not too tight, but enough air to get positive buoyancy. I wasn't able to dive very far. I Once I got about six feet in, I, my left ear couldn't pop. So I was stuck by about six feet in. I was actually, I was getting the hang of it, I was able to dive, but if your left ear doesn't pop, your ears will explode. I didn't want my ears to explode, so I just went snorkeling instead. One of the things that sticks out to me most is I remember seeing a sea turtle. So naturally I went up to try to catch up with the turtle and I followed it and it was swimming probably a foot below me and all the other scuba divers down there were also trying to follow it. Um, I remember seeing an underwater house. Uh, I remember seeing uh, a Volkswagen and inside the Volkswagen, which I wasn't able to see, but you know, Jen was able to look in there and see some fish. So when you look through the, the uh, what would be the windows of the Volkswagen, it had windows, but they were more like metal metal bars on the windows. Um, there were there were hundreds of fish inside, and then there were different plants and coral that were growing from the base of the Volkswagen. There were like these sculptures of native people that used to live on the island. Uh, well, one of the, the interesting things about this artist that made this whole thing is that in order to get sculptures to stay on the bottom of the of the ocean. Uh, he really wanted to see how light interacted with these sculptures. And in order for these sculptures to even stay up, he had to find uh, a certain type of clay to make it so that they would have to be acidically neutral, um, so that they wouldn't deteriorate over time. So they, these statues have been under there for a while, and they aren't deteriorating. Uh, you just see light growing out from them. Um, there were sculptures of doctors, sculptures of law, large amounts of people, and crowds of people who were like looking up in some spiritual ritual. Um, we saw angel fish, we saw parrot fish. It was amazing seeing you know dozens of people underwater, each one unique and different, with fish swimming in between them. And there was one point where we were scuba diving from one piece of art to the next where a school, a large school of fish just came by and, and like almost encomp like encompassed my entire body and I was in the middle of the school of fish and that, that was a really neat experience. Scuba diving down here is amazing. Um, the water is crystal clear blue. There's a lot of character to the islands around so you get a nice mix of great scuba diving and actually enjoying the culture of Mexico and the people that live here. So I think I think the lesson from this whole thing is that if you're going to build a museum, you should just build it underwater because it's better if you build a museum underwater. <laughs>